Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our tribute run here on Elma Creek. And we just finished taking our soybean harvest to the, uh, the silo. And now we've got to go pick up a cotton bale. All right, where are we dropping this one off at? I think they're both empty now, aren't they? Uh, you're empty and you are empty. So it didn't, does not really matter. Uh, we can just take this one to the close one, I suppose. Actually, before we do that, let's grab you. Get you moved over to one of our cotton fields. We get all the whole the whole field. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Uh, I think there might be a little dot there. But I'm not worried about that. One little speck isn't going to make a difference. All right, got him started. Let's get you dropped off. Alrighty, let's go get ready to pick up the other one here in a little bit. <laughs> My cone. Or barrel, I guess. All right, you can chill there. Let's grab you. We'll turn you the other direction here in a moment.
Alright, doing alright so far. Let him keep doing what he's doing. Anything else we need to do? We looked up a little mist little spot there. We'll come back and get that here in a bit. Don't think there's anything else we need to do right this second. Um, obviously, we just got the mulching. Where's my calendar? And just finished harvesting. We're in what? October. We harvested the soil. We're harvesting the cotton. Uh, we weeded it and fertilized the wheat. November, there's nothing to do. And then we sell the wheat in December. So, got a little bit of a... Not a lot really left to do at the moment. Oh, I know what I was going to check. Uh, do we... Need to do anything with the uh, pH? There's that black spot there. That's kind of... Strange... What? Why is there a black spot over there? pH still says it's okay for the moment, so we'll probably go at least one more cycle before we do anything else. In fact, it's good in some places. Why is this confused right here? Looks fine to me. World, just chalk it up to being confused. Um, yield's looking okay, except for this one strip here for some reason. Very strange as well. Yeah, some of these... Some of these Graphics don't really make sense to me. And we do need to get the pH on this at some point, but I was going to wait to see it until we needed to do this one as well. It's not going to make a massive, massive difference. All right, we'll be back in a moment once we get a little bit further along. All right, just finishing up the last little bit here. It doesn't look like we're actually getting anything, but... We are. Uh, it's just kind of a graphical thing because of how it went down the previous path. This guy's almost done over here. Almost got another full load, which is not too bad. And done. All right, let's return that real quick before it flips over to a new hour. I'll grab you to go pick that up. Actually, before we do that, let's grab you to start on this other field.
Kind of drive this one up to the other spinnery. All right. Uh, I want to. There we go. Hit <laughs> the wrong button. All right. Both spinners got their cotton. Um, we can actually fast forward any time now. I'm just driving this thing back real quick, and then we'll go from there. Fast forward. Uh, we can fast forward through November. Just got to get to December so we can sell our wheat. And I'm pretty tired today. I went out for a couple mile hike. It's actually uh, about 55 degrees out. That's summer. So, you know, 55 degrees Fahrenheit makes sense, right? Um, it was a little bit rainy. Uh, not too bad. Very, you know, pretty humid all for overall for where I live. But, uh, yeah. It was, it was pretty good. But definitely tiring. All right, you're good. Uh, we don't have to wait for the rest of the um, mulching before we fast forward. So we'll just get out here and fast forward over here. So then my eye. All right, so he's still doing his thing. Um, nothing for us to do this month, so... Yeah, I guess we just go ahead and fast forward again. We can go drool over what we can't buy. Thankfully, nothing that we would need. All right, let's get to December and sell our wheat. I mean, I guess I could be checking the contracts and stuff like that, but we really are at the point where we don't need contracts. We just... Contracts speed things up, so that's all. You can definitely make it a full year without any sort of contracts or anything like that. 
All right, here's December. Um, oh my goodness, look at that thing. That is insane. The idea that this is like real is just <laughs> kind of blows my mind a bit. Um, like that class mower, but again, nothing that we need for this particular map. Uh, let's see, what are the prices of the wheat? We're looking for anything over 405. We're at 441 and going up at Goldcrest Valley. So let's go ahead and zip on over to the train station. And we'll just start fast forwarding and watching that price for a little bit. 441. Four forty-three. Not very much increase. Might be slowing down actually. A couple of large dollars. Still technically going up. Four fifty. Come on. Get to your price. Let's go. Four fifty two. Uh what is it? Uh alt zero? No. Shift two. What is my thing for my payment thing? I don't remember for some reason. I thought it was control O. That is not it. Oh, well, I have a, obviously that add on that tells me like prices and stuff like that. I'm, I'm just forgetting the hotkey for it. Four fifty six, man, it's going to be dark by the time we get this thing sold. We don't have to have the mulching done until February. That's when we have to plant the cotton. Or 60. Kind of still going up. It is not stopping. I mean, I'm not complaining necessarily, but it'd be nice for it to get there a little bit faster. There we go. Starting to come back down. It still might go up a couple more notches, but effectively we're at this. There, we're there. So let's go ahead and get the train here. All right, let's go. Not 
little bit of money. Helps pay for some of the loan interest, stuff like that. You're still doing your thing. And we can jump out, fast forward, and be ready to sell Sorghum now. All right, we're looking for anything over 542. We're at 606 and staying still at Goldcrest Valley, which I think means that we can probably, because I don't think the other ones are going to get that high. So we're going to go ahead and go to the train and just sell at Goldcrest Valley at 602 or whatever it was. Assume it is this way. I had to slow down and come back. I mean, of course it's this way. <laughs> That's kind of how that works when the train only goes one direction. Sorghum. Thirty-five thousand bucks. Not bad. And this guy is. Almost done. Just has to be done next month, but honestly, it doesn't have to be done at the beginning of next month because we can technically start running the planting cotton while he's still doing this. But honestly, he's, he's our main planter with that particular planter. So I think we will. We'll just wait for him to get done. All right. Well, I'm going to put a cut in there. Um, you know, decent money so far. Um, back to back profit months. That's not too bad. November wasn't, we didn't spend a lot of money in November. So, uh, if we look at this entire page, 30, 40, 51, a little bit, a little bit of a loss still. So we're, we're still losing money over this five month period of time. Now, obviously once we hit to April, it'll blow all this out of the water, but still technically a little bit of a loss over this five month period. Um, Nothing else to sell until we sell the clothing, right? Yeah. And then the soy is a couple months after that. I mean, we're still making a profit year over year, but not much. We just we just need to get some more stuff. We need to get some more of the equipment that we're missing. We'll get there. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.